Instead of a concert hall, FedEx Forum turned into political theater Monday for a conservative political action conference. The event's biggest draw was housing and urban development secretary Ben Carson, who used the appearance to justify a proposal to significantly increase rent payments for low-income tenants living in federally subsidized housing. The move would adversely impact thousands of Memphis residents, many of whom would see their monthly rent increase by $100. Carson said the proposed rent increase means subsidized tenants would have, quote, more skin in the game, unquote. But what it would actually mean is tremendous hardship for many of our poorest citizens who struggle every day just to make it. These are residents who might have one, maybe two low paying jobs. And the administration, along with Republican lawmakers, remain resistant to increasing the federal minimum wage, which has been $7.25 an hour for the last nine years. Carson insists that rent increases are just part of his effort to push those in poverty to aim higher. But advocates for the poor say forcing these residents to pay three times more for rent is burdensome at best and outright cruel at worst. The perception of this administration and the Republican Party already is one of indifference bordering on hostility toward the poor. And very little was said at Monday's CPAC meeting in the FedEx Forum lobby to change that perception. And that's my point of view. I'm Otis Sanford for Local 24 News.